So my name's Patrick Cooper. I'm a third year uh, Bachelor of Physiotherapy student. Prior to that, I was studying a Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science, and I got two years into that degree before transferring across uh, and studying a Bachelor of Physiotherapy, which is something that a lot of students do, not just in exercise and sports science or, or in health, but a lot of students after their first year might find that that's something I didn't actually want to take or want to do, or they find an aspect of that degree and they really enjoy it and they want to take that aspect further, but disregard a lot of the other things, that's normal. A lot of students, when you're choosing what you want to study at uni, are only 17, 18 years old and don't have a lot of experience of the outside world, so it's unfair of them to assume they know what they want. So I, like many, transferred across after two years uh, into that Bachelor of Physiotherapy because I found, although I loved working in sport and I've continued to work in sport, currently now working for a number of National Rugby League first grade teams and professional and semi-professional soccer teams across the Central Coast, Newcastle and Sydney, I found that although that aspect of, of clinical work is very interesting, I really do enjoy and value uh, the relationships built working as a primary care practitioner one-on-one. -on -one. So that was the real reason for me to jump across and I don't regret the decision at all. I don't regret my time prior spent elsewhere. I think it's making me, or it will make me a better physiotherapist as we go on and it's definitely helped with the course content as well, bringing across a lot of that knowledge uh, that I had acquired prior to help me uh, start physiotherapy running and on the front foot. I kind of chop and change every day thinking about what I'm going to do when I graduate. Some days I think I'm going to go work in the public system in the hospitals, other days I think I want to start my own clinic and then the, the bulk of the time I, I think I'm going to go work for a professional sports team. But yeah, that's hopefully in one of those key areas where I'll be working. The, the marks required to get into physiotherapy sometimes put students off and they assume it's, it's the be-all and end-all and it's the, the hardest degree to study and that's just simply not true. Once you get in, you do have to memorise quite a bit of information initially, like a lot of degrees, to give you that base level of, of understanding of what you're doing. But as the degree continues, you really are just putting together what you've learnt with what the patient is telling you, with what you're seeing in front of you and the experiences that you've had. So realistically, I wouldn't say physiotherapy is inherently more difficult than really any other degree in, in health. It's just extremely popular. So that's why it's, it's sometimes a little bit more uh, challenging for students to get in right out of high school. But that doesn't mean that, you know, if a student doesn't get in initially, they're, they're not capable of actually studying the program. So the best thing about my course, the Bachelor of Physiotherapy, in my opinion, is all the hands-on stuff we do. It's, it's definitely not sitting uh, in, in extended lectures, you know, sitting still or anything like that indoors. I absolutely love getting out there in the community, meeting patients, uh, listening to their stories, working with them and their families to get, you know, really good clinical outcomes and just learning, I suppose, on the job, which is a big factor in a lot of health degrees, particularly here at the University of Newcastle, I suppose, because we get into placement so early, we can uh, have that opportunity to, to jump in there and, and actually develop our skills really early on. And for me, that, that's the biggest thing. You know, that's, that's really what I find benefiting my, my learning overall. And that's how I get better rather than just sitting at home at my desk, you know, at night trying to bulk memorize information. So I would tell my 14 or 15 year old self not to stress, not to worry. I think like a lot of other kids in that year eight, nine, 10 sort of uh, demographic, they think that they need to know exactly what it is they want to do right then and there. I know when I was 15, I thought I was going to be a personal trainer for the rest of my life. That's absolutely not what I'm doing and not what I'm going to be doing. When I was 18, I thought I was only going to work in elite sport and that is absolutely not what I'm doing. And even now at, at 22 years of age, I'm a little bit more open-minded in knowing that I have areas I would like to work in, but I'm aware now to know that that might not be where I want to work tomorrow because there's still a lot more to go and a lot more to be explored. And I'm really open to that. So I would definitely tell my 14 or 15 year old self to stay really open-minded, not to stress too much if your path deviates a little bit in one way or another. Most people, that will be the common case. Not many people will know exactly what they want to do when they're 14 or 15. And it's very unlikely that when you're 18, 19, 20, or even 40, that that's still going to be what you want to do. Take every opportunity that you can, whether it's something that you think you're going to be interested or not, it can only benefit you. If you take an opportunity to go and study or, or take a few days in work experience in a field you've not even considered before, the worst thing that can happen is you discover you really don't like it. And, and in reality, that's a good thing. You've ticked off one extra thing that you know, okay, that's not for me. I wouldn't be working in the roles that I'm working in professionally now if it wasn't for the opportunities I took uh, towards the end of high school and at the start of university. And now even I wouldn't be um, doing what I'm doing on a daily basis if it wasn't for the open-mindedness I was able to, to maintain and just have a shot at anything that came up you know ultimately you're going to miss 100% of the shots you don't take so you might as well just have a go